Well, hello there. My name is Kyle Swenson, and I'm a wood manufacturing teacher at Wyzetta High School, and I'm here tonight to talk a little bit about concurrent enrollment. Now, there's a lot of different ways that students can get college credit at the high school level. One of the ways is concurrent enrollment. There's another way called articulation agreements, and so let's actually start with articulation agreements. Articulation agreements is an agreement that the high school has with a uh, a, a community college or technical college in the area. Uh, so lots of different schools have articulation agreements. What I like to tell students is that an articulation agreement is college credit with strings attached. And I'm going to use my Intro to Woods uh, wood manufacturing class as an example. If a student comes to my Intro to Wood manufacturing class, it's a nine week kind of in introduction to wood manufacturing. And there are several of these introductory level courses uh, throughout all career and technical education. So CTE is the FACS, Family and Consumer Science Department, the Business Department, and the Tech Ed Department. So a lot of times in our first level or entry level classes, we have articulation agreements. And what that means is that we as high school teachers sit down with the college teachers and we try to find some similarities in our classes. And usually we say about 80% of our curriculum is aligned with what they teach at the college level. So the college is willing to give our students credit towards that class if they enroll in that institution. So I have an articulation agreement with my wood manufacturing class, my introduction one, with Hennepin Tech. So if a student decides to go to Hennepin Tech, they can get credit for a, a class called Power Tool Operation when they enroll at Hennepin Technical College. Now the grade doesn't transfer, and oftentimes they don't even get all the credits. So that is a five credit class at Hennepin Tech. Our students that come from Wyzetta High would get three of those five credits. So they're gonna be asked to take the course again, but it's essentially a scholarship for them. So they're not paying for all of that class. Now different articulation agreements are different. Sometimes articulation agreements are gonna grant them all of the credits for a class at the, at the college level and they won't have to take it. But that is an agreement between a specific college and Wyzetta High School. That credit is not good at all colleges. I can't take my articulation agreement with Hennepin Tech and go to St. Cloud State University and expect them to honor it. It's only good if a student goes right from Wyzetta High School to that post-secondary option that we have the articulation agreement with. It's not transcripted credits. And this list is, is changes quite frequently at, at Wyzetta High School. Here is a list that, that is uh, not current this year, but most of these classes uh, are still the same. I would encourage you to look in the registration guide and you'll see a, a, a note, there's a special symbol next to a college class if it is an articulated college class. And you'll see that a, a lot of our intro classes and as well as some of our advanced classes have articulation agreements but that's less of an agreement. It is, it is not a transcripted college credit. The GPA does not transfer. All it is is telling the college that a student has taken this class and they won't have to pay for those credits. So it really does help students that are going into that content specific um, post-secondary program. Now kind of the next level up is concurrent enrollment. Concurrent enrollment is a transcripted college credit. So the easiest way to think of this is if you decided to go to Normandale Community College during the summer and take a math class, you would own that credit and it could transfer with you wherever you decide to go. And then it's between the college you're trying to bring it into and you to kind of see where that fits into the program. So concurrent enrollment is usually offered in our more advanced classes. Uh, and, and concurrent enrollment is kind of CTE's equivalent to an AP class. And we can make the case that a, a concurrent enrollment class is even a little higher class than AP because in order for a student to get an AP credit, they have to take a test. And if they get a good enough score on that test, then they get the college credit. Whereas a concurrent enrollment, the, the definition of that is that you are concurrently enrolled in the Wyzetta High School program and whatever college program that you're working with. And I'm going to use my advanced wood manufacturing as an example. So when students walk into my wood shop as advanced wood manufacturing students, they are actually walking into Hennepin Tech. I have been credentialed at Hennepin Tech. I have the credentials to be a 
trade school teacher or a technical college teacher from Hennepin Tech. And so for most CTE teachers, it's an incredible amount of work to get that credentialing. I have to get a cabinet making degree from Hennepin Tech. That's like 60 credits that I've had to get to be able to grant and have industry experience to be able to grant concurrent enrollment. A lot of business teachers have had to get um, MBAs and more advanced degrees to be able to give this credit to high school students. The, the high school teacher has to have the same credentials at, as a teacher would at the technical or community college. So it's a big deal for a class to be concurrent enrollment because it's a lot of work for the instructor to be able to do that. And what that means for the student is that they get transcript or credits. It's very similar to PSEO or a college and schools program where the students are coming, staying at the high school, but they're getting both college and high school credits at the same time. Now, depending on the program, and you'll want to check with your child's teacher, in wood manufacturing, uh, in our first level class, they get an articulated college credit, and then at the advanced class, they get a concurrent enrollment credit. And a lot of times, those two can merge together. So when you are a concurrent enrollment student, you actually enroll at the, at the, high, at the college. So my Wood Manufacturing 2 students are enrolling in Hennepin Tech. They become Hennepin Tech students. And when they do that, that activates their um, articulated credit from the first level class. So students can get, I think it's four or five credits, because their articulated uh, credit in Woods 1 becomes activated and students now get that credit because they are enrolling at Hennepin Tech and that partners with the concurrent enrollment class and so students are getting five or six credits by taking that concurrent enrollment class in wood manufacturing. Now every class is going to be different. Sometimes those classes don't um, stack on top of each other and sometimes they do. It really depends on the specific class and you can for sure talk to your child's teacher uh, if those two will work together. I was just going to um, look at Hennepin Tech has a little snippet on their website and these are some of the benefits of taking a concurrent enrollment class. Um, you're saving money because it is a transcript of credit. So even if you don't go to Hennepin Tech you can take those credits or if you're if it's a business class or a facts class and they have an agreement with Normandale or um, North Hennepin Community College you request a transcript just like you would if you were transferring colleges. So you'd request a transcript from Hennepin Tech or North Hennepin or Normandale, and then you'll get that transcript or credit. It'll say whatever concurrent enrollment class that you have enrolled in will be registered there. So it looks great um, for resumes. It looks great for college entrance if students are getting these credits in high school. Uh, it also allows you to have all the benefits of that community or technical college. So you can go on campus, use their facilities, use the labs, use all of the career resources that are available to um, community college or technical college students because you actually are a student on campus there. And unlike AP classes, whatever grade you get in class is the grade that shows up on your college transcript. There is no high stakes test at the end of the class to get the credit. So if you've got questions, please reach out to the specific teacher or to the department, or you can reach out to me. My name's Kyle Swenson. Uh, you can find me on the high school's website, and I should be able to answer most questions for you about this. But it's an awesome opportunity for students that we hope that they take advantage of.